the things which thou knowest not. But seek ye first the kingdom of God and his righteousness, and all these things shall be added unto you. Therefore I tell you, whatever you ask for in prayer, believe that you have received it and it will be yours. In the same way, the Spirit help us in our weaknesses. We do not know what we ought to pray for, but the Spirit Himself intercedes for us through wordless groans. And whatever you ask in my name, that I will do, that the Father may be glorified in the Son. If you ask anything in my name, I will do it. If you love me, keep my commandments. Come to me, all who labor and are heavy laden, and I will give you rest. Take my yoke upon you, and learn from me, for I am gentle and lowly in heart, and you will find rest for your souls. For my yoke is easy, and my burden is light. Call unto me, and I will answer you, and tell you great and mighty things which thou knowest not. But seek ye first the kingdom of God, and his righteousness, and all these things shall be added unto you. Therefore I tell you, Whatever you ask for in prayer, believe that you have received it, and it will be yours. In the same way, the Spirit help us in our weaknesses. We do not know what we ought to pray for, but the Spirit Himself intercedes for us through wordless groans. And whatever you ask in my name, that I will do, that the Father may be glorified in the Son. If you ask anything in my name, I will do it. If you love me, keep my commandments. Come to me, all who labor and are heavy laden, and I will give you rest. Take my yoke upon you and learn from me, for I am gentle and lowly in heart, and you will find rest for your souls. For my yoke is easy, and my burden is light. Call unto me, and I will answer you, and tell you great and mighty things which thou knowest not. But seek ye first the kingdom of God, and his righteousness, and all these things shall be added unto you. Therefore I tell you, whatever you ask for in prayer, believe that you have received it, and it will be yours. In the same way, the Spirit help us in our weaknesses. We do not know what we ought to pray for, but the Spirit Himself intercedes for us through wordless groans. And whatever you ask in my name, that I will do, that the Father may be glorified in the Son. If you ask anything in my name, I will do it. If you love me, keep my commandments. Come to me, all who labor and are heavy laden, and I will give you rest. Take my yoke upon you, and learn from me, for I am gentle and lowly in heart, and you will find rest for your souls. For my yoke is easy, and my burden is light. Call unto me, and I will answer you, and tell you, great and mighty things which thou knowest not. But seek ye first the kingdom of God and his righteousness, 
and all these things shall be added unto you. Therefore I tell you, whatever you ask for in prayer, believe that you have received it and it will be yours. In the same way, the Spirit help us in our weaknesses. We do not know what we ought to pray for, but the Spirit Himself intercedes for us through wordless groans. And whatever you ask in my name, that I will do, that the Father may be glorified in the Son. If you ask anything in my name, I will do it. If you love me, keep my commandments. Come to me, all who labor and are heavy laden, and I will give you rest. Take my yoke upon you, and learn from me, for I am gentle and lowly in heart, and you will find rest for your souls. For my yoke is easy, and my burden is light. Call unto me, and I will answer you, and tell you great and mighty things which thou knowest not. But seek ye first the kingdom of God, and his righteousness, and all these things shall be added unto you. Therefore I tell you, whatever you ask for in prayer, believe that you have received it, and it will be yours. In the same way, the Spirit help us in our weaknesses. We do not know what we ought to pray for, but the Spirit Himself intercedes for us through wordless groans. And whatever you ask in my name, that I will do, that the Father may be glorified in the Son. If you ask anything in my name, I will do it. If you love me, keep my commandments. Come to me, all who labor and are heavy laden, and I will give you rest. Take my yoke upon you, and learn from me, for I am gentle and lowly in heart, and you will find rest for your souls. For my yoke is easy, and my burden is light. Call unto me, and I will answer you, and tell you great and mighty things which thou knowest not. But seek ye first the kingdom of God, and his righteousness, and all these things shall be added unto you. Therefore I tell you, whatever you ask for in prayer, believe that you have received it, and it will be yours. In the same way, the Spirit help us in our weaknesses. We do not know what we ought to pray for, but the Spirit Himself intercedes for us through wordless groans. And whatever you ask in my name, that I will do, that the Father may be glorified in the Son. If you ask anything in my name, I will do it. If you love me, keep my commandments. Come to me, all who labor and are heavy laden, and I will give you rest. Take my yoke upon you, and learn from me, for I am gentle and lowly in heart, and you will find rest for your souls. For my yoke is easy, and my burden is light. Call unto me, and I will answer you, and tell you, great and mighty things which thou knowest not. But seek ye first the kingdom of God, and his righteousness, and all these things shall be added unto you. Therefore I tell you, whatever you ask for in prayer, 
believe that you have received it and it will be yours. In the same way, the Spirit help us in our weaknesses. We do not know what we ought to pray for, but the Spirit Himself intercedes for us through wordless groans. And whatever you ask in my name, that I will do, that the Father may be glorified in the Son. If you ask anything in my name, I will do it. If you love me, keep my commandments. Come to me, all who labor and are heavy laden, and I will give you rest. Take my yoke upon you and learn from me for I am gentle and lowly in heart and you will find rest for your souls for my yoke is easy and my burden is light call unto me and I will answer you and tell you great and mighty things which thou knowest not but seek ye first the kingdom of God and his righteousness and all these things shall be added unto you therefore I tell you whatever you ask for in prayer believe that you have received it and it will be yours in the same way the Spirit help us in our weaknesses we do not know what we ought to pray for but the Spirit Himself intercedes for us through wordless groans. And whatever you ask in my name, that I will do, that the Father may be glorified in the Son. If you ask anything in my name, I will do it. If you love me, keep my commandments. Come to me, all who labor and are heavy laden, and I will give you rest. Take my yoke upon you, and learn from me, for I am gentle and lowly in heart, and you will find rest for your souls. For my yoke is easy, and my burden is light. Call unto me, and I will answer you, and tell you, great and mighty things which thou knowest not. But seek ye first the kingdom of God and his righteousness and all these things shall be added unto you. Therefore I tell you whatever you ask for in prayer believe that you have received it and it will be yours. In the same way, the Spirit help us in our weaknesses. We do not know what we ought to pray for, but the Spirit Himself intercedes for us through wordless groans. And whatever you ask in my name, that I will do, that the Father may be glorified in the Son. If you ask anything in my name, I will do it. If you love me, keep my commandments. Come to me, all who labor and are heavy laden, and I will give you rest. Take my yoke upon you, and learn from me, for I am gentle and lowly in heart, and you will find rest for your souls. For my yoke is easy, and my burden is light. Call unto me, and I will answer you, and tell you great and mighty things which thou knowest not. But seek ye first the kingdom of God, and his righteousness, and all these things shall be added unto you. Therefore I tell you, Whatever you ask for in prayer, believe that you have received it and it will be yours. In the same way, 
The Spirit help us in our weaknesses. We do not know what we ought to pray for, but the Spirit Himself intercedes for us through wordless groans. And whatever you ask in my name, that I will do, that the Father may be glorified in the Son. If you ask anything in my name, I will do it. If you love me, keep my commandments. Come to me, all who labor and are heavy laden, and I will give you rest. Take my yoke upon you, and learn from me. For I am gentle and lowly in heart, and you will find rest for your souls. For my yoke is easy, and my burden is light. Call unto me, and I will answer you, and tell you great and mighty things which thou knowest not. But seek ye first the kingdom of God, and his righteousness, and all these things shall be added unto you. Therefore I tell you, whatever you ask for in prayer, believe that you have received it and it will be yours in the same way the spirit help us in our weaknesses we do not know what we ought to pray for but the spirit himself intercedes for us through wordless groans and whatever you ask in my name that i will do that the Father may be glorified in the Son. If you ask anything in my name, I will do it. If you love me, keep my commandments. Come to me, all who labor and are heavy laden, and I will give you rest. Take my yoke upon you, and learn from me, for I am gentle and lowly in heart, and you will find rest for your souls. For my yoke is easy, and my burden is light. Call unto me, and I will answer you, and tell you great and mighty things which thou knowest not. But seek ye first the kingdom of God, and his righteousness, and all these things shall be added unto you. Therefore I tell you, whatever you ask for in prayer, believe that you have received it and it will be yours. In the same way, the Spirit help us in our weaknesses. We do not know what we ought to pray for, but the Spirit Himself intercedes for us through wordless Grunts. Let us pray. Our great and loving God, in the name of Jesus Christ, your Son, I come to you. Thanking you for your goodness and for your faithfulness. Thank you for answering our prayers. Thank you for this day, another day to experience your goodness and faithfulness. I thank you, Lord, for my family, loved ones, relatives, friends. Thank you for the lives of these brethren. And thank you for providing our needs. Truly, Lord, you are our God, faithful, true to all the promises. Thank you, Lord, for today. We can come to you with thanksgiving in our hearts giving you glory, giving you honor. 
for you made the heavens and the earth. You are our God, the creator of the universe. Be glorified, O Lord, and magnified as we continue to trust you, putting our hope and confidence in you. Thank you, Lord, for these individuals na nakikinig ngayon. I am declaring blessings upon blessings for their lives and for their family. Lord, thank you for this day. We can trust you for your presence, provision, and protection. Even as we prepare ourselves for the work and ministry today. Thank you, Lord, for the good night rest, for renewing our strength. I will trust you that you will lead more people to praise you and worship you as you allow them to wake up this morning. May they praise your holy name. May they give glory and honor to you, our God, worthy of all our praises. Maraming salamat, Lord. Sa araw na ito, we can again experience your goodness and faithfulness. I pray for your people around the globe. As they pray, I know you are listening and you are going to answer their prayers. Preserve the lives of your people from any attacks of our enemies, praying for all pastors, evangelists, missionaries, with their family, O oh God. I declare healing for those who are not feeling well, strength for those who are weak, for those who are on their sick bed, discomfort in their physical bodies. And also, Lord, I pray for strength, emotionally, mentally, socially, and even in our spiritual life. Lord, I will trust you that this day will be another day for us to ex experience victory after victory. Thank you, Lord, for I can also pray and Remember our brethren with all their concerns for their family. In the name of Jesus Christ, have mercy on us as we seek your highest will and purpose for our lives. I pray for Kamakop, the national leaders are now in the Pollock for the West Mindanao Region Forum. I pray for strength, wisdom, joy as they will have fellowship, learning one another, and encourage and praying one another. Thank you, Lord, for providing their needs, and I pray that that forum will be a blessing to them for a renewal. Of their commitment in serving you, serving your people. Marami salamat, Lord, for today again. We can worship you. We can learn from you. We need your guidance, wisdom, and understanding. Bless us, Lord, today in your own special way with heavenly and spiritual blessings. Every good and perfect gift that comes from above will be coming down to your people and we can experience more of you, more of your presence, power, and grace. 
Thank you, Lord, for this morning. You are our God, worthy of all our praises, adoration, with thanksgiving. I come to you in the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. Good morning, good morning, good morning mga partners, mayang buntag at magandang umaga Once again, welcome to our program Morning Prayer and Praise God bless you mga partners, I thank God for your lives Thank God for the partnership na meron tayo Dito sa programa Morning Prayer and Praise well, my partners, today is Wednesday, April 17. Another day to experience God's goodness and faithfulness. Kumusta, mga partners? Hoping and praying that everything is doing and going well with you. And uh, at sa iyong mga uh, loved ones, friends, and relatives. And of course, uh, sa ating family. Maraming salamat mga partners na injan kayo and I will trust the Lord that God will continue to uh, guide us and inspire us today. And kumusta mga partners? Thank you for joining and I hope you can stay for a few minutes as we pray and encourage our brothers and sisters with our praises, morning greetings and together we will bless the name of the Lord. Well, mga partners, uh, may mga viewers na tayo at may mga morning greetings na tayo. Ito mga partners, babasahin natin yung mga morning greetings. Good morning, good morning. Ito si Ate Esther Chang. Good morning, Pastor Gilbert. Praying. Ate Esther, talibat to na pagadi. I mean, forum. 
regards kanila Alino. God bless you. Thank you for praying for us. And God bless you. Enjoy this uh, regional forum. No? God bless you. Also, good morning kay Sister Rebecca Cabrela. Maraming salamat nandyan kayo. Regards dyan sa inyong lahat. God bless you. Uh, be a blessing in sa household ninyo and community even in your workplaces. Maraming salamat na andyan kayo. Greetings coming from at Mercy Kikuyama. Sabi niya, hello pastor, good morning at sa inyong buong pamilya. God bless you. At Mercy, maraming salamat. Thank you for joining and God bless you. Thank God for this partnership. Also, si Elder Romeo Bayo. Good morning, Pastor and family. Romeo, kumusta? God bless you as you prepare yourselves sa gawain. Siguro, tambiyahe at tuawra, no? And God will take care of you. And you will be a blessing sa iyong gawain today. Ketal kanila at regards kanila all day. God bless you and good morning. Maraming salamat na kasama natin si Pastor Raheni Montesclaro. Sabi pa ni Pastor Raheni, Blessed and joyful day, Pastor Gilbert and family, and to all prayer partners. Praise the Lord for the, the renewed strength. Amen. Amen. Maraming salamat Pastor Raheni. God bless you. At regards dyan kay DMS uh, Larry. Uh, maraming salamat din sa feedback na nice and audio. Thank you very much. Thank you. Thank you for that feedback. Pastor Raheni, God bless you. And uh, thank you for the partnership na meron tayo dito sa programa ito. Also kasama natin si Sister Arl Hardison. Praises and adorations to our creator and sustainer of our lives. Amen. Thank you Lord for the gift of a new day. The blessed morning, Pastor and family, and to all prayer partners. Ayan. Coming from Sister Al Hardison. Maraming salamat, Sister Al. God bless you. At regards dyan sa inyong familia. Also, my morning greetings tayo coming from Mom Helen Subido. Blessed morning, everyone. God bless us all. Ayan. Mga partners, maraming salamat. Regards Ali, Mom Helen Canila. Taliba si Auntie Bay. Thank God for your lives. Thank you for praying for us and with us. God bless you. You will experience good, the goodness and faithfulness of God as you prepare yourselves to go in and ministry today. You will be a blessing in your household, community, and even in your workplaces. Maraming maraming salamat mga partners for this morning greetings, praises and declaring God's blessings for us. Ayan. Maraming salamat mga partners. Time check muna tayo. 7.23 I hope you can stay for a few minutes dahil mamayang uh, 7.30 we'll have our devotional. So, yesterday we started our uh, devotional with our daily Bible reading passage uh, Revelation chapter 1 so yesterday uh, gumawa tayo ng short uh, background of, sa book of Revelation how to understand and read this book mamaya mga partners nasa chapter 2 na tayo but we will do this uh, church by church because starting sa chapter 2 Andiyan na yung uh, address, uh, message ni Christ for the seven churches in Asia. So I hope mga partners, you can stay and learn. We will learn together. And we will trust the Lord that God will uh, bless us with spiritual blessings, heavenly uh, blessings, uh, and lessons to learn para sa ating buhay. Well, mga partners, kung may mga prayer requests kayo, feel free to type your concerns at the comment section. 
pag-pray natin yan. Maraming salamat and of course mga partners, you can uh, just leave your cell phone beside you kung saan maririnig nyo lang ako and you can continue to do what you are doing. So, siguro some of you are preparing for, uh, breakfasts, uh, preparing for work and I will trust you that God will continue to make His face to shine upon you. Magiging conscious tayo palagi sa presensya ng Panginoon. And His help will always be in our portion. Maraming salamat mga partners for these uh, morning greetings and for the partnership na mayroon tayo dito sa programa Morning Prayer and Praise. Time check tayo mga partners. Uh, 7.26 na dito sa Japan and 6.26 dyan sa Pilipinas. Maraming maraming salamat mga partners. Today is Wednesday, April Uh, 17, 2024 Another day to experience the goodness and the faithfulness of God Maraming salamat for uh, yung mga dumadaan sa atin na nag-iiwan ng reactions Ayan mga partners Stay tuned habang Uh, we are hoping and praying na may mga partners pa tayo with their morning greetings praises and prayer requests na papasok well kumusta mga partners we thank God for His sustaining grace His provision His healing We thank God for the opportunity to uh, work and be part you know, in the ministry that God has entrusted to us. And uh, mga partners, uh, if, if you remember us in, our, in your prayers, please continue to pray for strength. And on, we are preparing for the church anniversary dito on Sunday. And then by April 28, my speaking engagement tayo, no? Sa uh, ibang church dito. Um, kung mag... Um, kung mag... Sasakyan. Um, two hours travel. Kung mag-train. Uh, less than two hours so thank you for praying for us and for praying with us maraming salamat Once again, mga partners, good morning, good morning, good morning. One minute na lang before 7.30. Ito mga partners, uh, for our meditation today, we will study uh, the Church of Ephesus. One of the seven churches uh, mentioned dito sa Revelation. Uh, these early chapters, chapter 2 hanggang uh, chapter 3. Three. So, yesterday mga partners, na, uh, we talked about a short and brief background of the Bible, uh, of the book of Revelation. Paano natin babasahin at intindihin itong 
uh, book na ito. So, sabi ko yesterday, when we read and study this book, uh, let us always remember uh, nung sinabi ni Jesus Christ kay John in a vision, write these things, what is now and what will take place later. So, doon natin mga partners, uh, doon tayo mag-umpisa. So, there are writings dito na exist, uh, nag-exist na no, during the time of John nung natanggap niya itong vision. And ito na nga yung mga churches. And uh, those churches nakita ni Jesus Christ what they are doing and Jesus Christ also uh, gave a warning and uh, also gave hope dito sa mga churches ayan mga partners We'll start our devotional by reading this uh, chapter 2, Revelation 1 to 7. To the angel of the church in Ephesus write, These are the words of him who holds the seven stars in his right hand and walks among the seven golden lamp stunts. I know your deeds, your hard work, and your perseverance. I know that you cannot tolerate wicked people, that you have tested those who claim to be apostles but are not, and have found them false. You have preserved or you have persevered and have endured hardships for my name and have not grown weary. Yet I hold this against you. You have forsaken the love you had at first. Other translation, you have forsaken your first love. Consider how far you have fallen. Repent and do the things you did at first. If you do not repent, I will come to you and remove your lump stand from its place. But you have this in your favor. You hate the practices of the Nicolaitans, which I also hate. Whoever has ears, let them hear what the Spirit says to the churches. The one who is victorious, I will give the right to eat from the tree of life, which is in the paradise of God. Amen. So, ito yung, ito yung address ni Jesus Christ uh, to this uh, first church, Ephesus. Una una mga partners, if this angel at that time represents servants of God, since this is a vision, you know, at and it happened during Buhay Pasijan. This church nag exist na long time ago. Before the the vision no, John received. Speaking of angel during that time uh, sent by God servant of God 
um, messenger of God. Now, when this address to the church, to the angel of the church in Ephesus, we can say, and some scholar says, in our generation, um, the pastor, kung walang pastor, the church leader, the one who leads the church. Eh, ganun naman talaga, no? Kung magsusulat tayo ng letter, ina-address natin kung sino ang senior pastor. So, we don't address sa lahat ng uh, members, no? But, the one who is leading the church doon tayo. So, when God Uh, one implication dito mga partners uh, when God wants to tell something about the church He tells it to the one who lead kaya crucial yung ano I crucial ang work ang position ng isang pastor sa simbahan dahil kung hindi niya i-communicate sa tao ang gusto ng Panginoon mahihirapan siya at mga tao mahihirapan din now nag-introduce si Jesus Christ first Jesus Christ introduced himself dito sa church na ito as the the ano yan these are the words of him you know who holds the seven stars in his right hand and who walks among the seven golden lampstands now yung seven stars at golden seven golden lampstand na explain yan dito sa chapter 1 okay so kailangan natin yan balikan sa chapter 1 kasi sabi niya Jesus Christ si Jesus Christ Write therefore what you have seen, what is now, and what will take place later. This mystery of the seven stars that you saw in my right hand, and of the seven golden lampstands, is this. Okay. The seven stars are the angels of the seven churches. So in other words, ang stars represent angels no? or the leader the pastor of the church and the seven lampstands are the seven churches so in verse 1 Jesus Christ introduced himself as the one who holds the seven stars in his right hand and who walks among the seven golden lampstands so Hawak ng Panginoon Jesus ang mga pastor or leaders of the church. Kaya pala si Apostle Pablo, may sinabi siya sa kanyang write-up. It is he who gave some to be prophets, some to be apostles, pastors, and teachers. So this, uh, in this revelation, si Jesus Christ ang may hawak ng mga leaders of the leader or pastor of the church and he walks among the seven golden lampstands so this simply means no nandiyan si Jesus Christ sa mga churches na yun and uh, of course churches believers of the Lord Jesus Christ they acknowledge the presence of Christ in their church kaya sabi niya nandiyan lang siya walking among the seven golden lampstands so since walking among the churches sinabi niya verse 2 I know your deeds your hard work your perseverance 
I know that you cannot tolerate wicked people that you have tested who claim to be apostles but are not and have found them false mm. okay no part of their hard work at Gawain this church of Ephesus does not tolerate wicked people wicked people of that time uh, are those who claim to be apostles but are not so when we think of people wicked people during those times um, there were people claiming to be apostles but this church found them false and part of their strength or deeds or hard work also perseverance they persevere and endured hardships for the name of our Lord and have not grown weary so ganon sila mga partners no that church believe ng Panginoon. I mean, Christ uh, found them uh, strong because the church perseveres and they cannot tolerate you know, wicked people among themselves. And they have not grow, uh, they have not grown weary. Galing, no? But, ito na yung uh, warning or ay, uh, ano ba to? Hindi nagustuhan ng Panginoon. So, may mga bagay pa rin na nakita ng Panginoon that they need to repent. Ano yon mga partners? Verse 4, Yet I hold this against you. You have forsaken the love you had at first. Hmm. Other translation, you have forsaken your first love. Alam niyo mga partners, um, marami ako narinig na message dito. Uh, they, they preach. They preach about um, First love, loving Jesus. Yung ganun ba? Uh, sabi nila, this church daw, nakalimutan nila si Christ. Mm -hmm. Pero, habang nagpapatuloy tayo in, in our study, in our research, uh, like what we are doing, we are doing an in-depth study, mga part. Tinitingnan natin yung context talaga. We don't, uh, we don't just uh, follow yung mga marami na akong message na narinig about dito mga partners. And lately, may mga messages din tayo narinig about dito. And one of those messages mga partners of which I bought that message because this is uh, what I discovered. Kung gagawa pala tayo ng in-depth study, understanding the scripture in its context, marami tayong matutunan. Ito mga partners, ha? what Christ hold against this church. They have forsaken the love they have at first at first huh? at first ano ba ang ano ba ang ginagawa nila noon yung nung una 
nung una mga partners. Now, you remember, do you still remember the, that time that you came to know the Lord Jesus Christ? And what was the first thing or first things that you love to do the most? Ano yung mga bagay na alala niyo pa ba? Di ba, uh, you were on fire. We were on fire in worshiping the Lord. We were on fire in uh, sharing the gospel. We have that desire and passion to live for Christ. So, lot of things that we were Uh, we love to do at first. Of course, kasama na yon loving Christ. But, consider this verse 5. Ang pagkasabi dito, consider how far you have fallen. How far you have fallen. So the question we need to ask here from what and where from what and where So young first lang mga partners the things you love to do at first the, these people or this church they have fallen from those things they love to do at first. Kasi kung pag-usapan lang natin yung loving Christ, loving God, nandoon na yun sa commendation, oh, tingnan niya mga barnes. Because uh, they have not grown weary. They have persevered. They have endured hardships for my name, sabi ni Jesus Christ. You have persevered, you have endured hardships for my name, and have not grown weary. Wala naman sinab, by doing that mga partners, kaya mo ba yung gagawin if you do not love God? Kaya mo ba yung mag-persevere? Kaya mo ba yung mag-endure? and not grow weary kaya mo ba yan without God without the help of our Lord nagagawa nila yan mga partners because for the sake of the name of Christ for Christ yet nakalimutan nila yung unang unang gusto nilang gawin mga bagay na gusto nilang gawin and they have forgotten no? and forsaken those you the love those uh, you have forsaken the love you had at first no? no una una so Like for example, mga partners. Prayer. When you come to know the, the to know the Lord Jesus Christ, natuto ka magpray, di ba mga partners? And natuto ka magstudy. And you love. The Word of God, and you express your love to God in a worship. Niyon, and daming mga bagay na ng una gusto ng gusto natin gawin. It's like this church, but they have fallen. Ang layo na mga partners, ang layo na. So you just imagine the things that they do at first. Ano yung mga bagay na yun? Of course, loving God, 
worshiping God, sharing the gospel, praying, studying the word. Nawala yun sa kanila, mga partners. Nawala yun. But here comes, uh, here comes the hope and assurance. Verse 5, no? Sabi niyan, Consider how far you have fallen. Repent and do the things you did at first. Dito mismo mga partners, this verse will tell you that those things that they have uh, that uh, what they have forsaken are uh, are a lot of things. <laughs> Nahirapan ako, no? Uh, yung, yung iniwan nila yung nakalimutan nilang mga uh, bagay ay marami. Hindi lang isa. Kaya mga partners, tingnan nyo ha. Uh, okay naman yung sinasabi nila, you have forsaken your first love. Sino bang first love mo? Si Jesus Christ. Yung mga uh, sinasabi nilang ganyan mga partners, no? Ako nandoon ako noon, noon. Nandoon ako sa mga idea na yon. But looking at this in an in-depth study, nandito sinabi, repent, magsisi ka, at gawin mo yung mga bagay. Do the things. Huh? Things. Huh? Things. Mga bagay that you did at first. Now, let's just imagine how this church of Ephesus started. Of course, through the ministry ng ating mga apostles, the believers of their time. The people here in Ephesus, they heard the gospel. They embrace the gospel. They believe God and they worship God. And then, nagkaroon sila ng congregation. And they worship. They share. They study. They pray. They serve one another. Ang dami mga partners. Ang daming ginawa nila. How they, are, they have started. Of course, kasama na dyan, Loving God. Loving your neighbor. Pero marami mga barnes, no? Marami. It's like, it's like sinasabi nila na uh, you can love without giving. But you cannot give without love. So, ito yung nakita ng Panginoon sa church nila. They have forsaken the things that they love to do at first. Kaya sabi nila, rip, sabi nila ng Panginoon, repent and do the things you did at first. If you do not repent, I will come to you and remove your lump stand from its place. Mm -hmm. Tingnan niya mga partners. Ang pwedeng mangyari, if they will not do again what they have loved to do the most at first, if they will not repent or kung hindi nila gagawin ulit yun, uh, yan mga partners. Kasi repentance uh, implies dito mga partners kung ang pagkasabi if you do not repent kung hindi nyo gagawin yung mga bagay na yon na you love to do at first I will come to you and remove your lampstand from its place the church itself the church 
itself tatanggalin. And mga partners, maraming churches na tayo narinig at nalaman na wala na yung church doon sa lugar na yun. Look at America. So I heard one pastor who research about mga churches nagko-close. Mm-hmm. Dami mga partners, dami daw churches around the globe nagko-close mga partners. Bakit kaya? This might be the reason, no? Like the Ephesus, buti na lang mga partners nagrepent sila and they have uh, they do continuously and hopefully no hopefully nagrepent sila and you know mga partners ano ba talaga dapat gawin ang mga churches Patuloy lang mga partners so that that church no that church will not remove from its place. Uh, side comment lang or testimony mga partners. Uh, kung saan ako nagpastor before uh, pumunta ako dito sa Japan. It was a small church with Konting family lang. Siguro. Oh, with the children. Mga 30 plus lang. 30 plus people lang. And naging controversial yung lugar. Dahil binenta yung, ibinenta yung lupa kung saan ang church nakatayo. But eventually, they were not able to uh, remove us no? as a church and nagkaroon lang ng amicable settlement. So, ito yung palagi kong sinasabi sa kanila. As long this church may tao pa nagpe-pray, mag, may tao pa nag-worship, may gumagamit pa itong lugar, and God is pleased in this place of worship and the word of God is being preached and people are encouraged in this place hindi mawawala yan they cannot take this church out from us so ito nangyari mga partners Nung bumili, I mean, the one who bought the lot, kinausap namin. And God granted us the favor. Sabi pa nung bumili ng lupa, Sige, Pastor, you can use that place as long as you wish. But do not sell it. Yun lang ang sinabi ng may-ari nung, nung, bu, nung bumili ng lupa. Eh. They cannot get the lot because it was donated and parcel of the land na outside sa mother title. But nung naibenta yun, hindi nila na-consider na yung church isinama ibenta yung kung saan yung lugar ng church. But eventually, Hanggang ngayon nag exist ang simbahan. Still, God provided a minister to the church and the people are encouraged and blessed to have that place. So, ano yung mga ginagawa nila mga partners sa church na yun? There, they express their love to God by singing of songs of praise, offering their substance, 
presenting their lives and family in the church. They encourage one another. They learn one another. They minister to one another. And they reach out community. And they they just build up one another. Kaya hanggang ngayon mga partners, nag exist yung church. And they are happy. They are blessed to have that place. Maliit lang mga partners. Maliit lang. Ang area ngayon nasa 120 or 130 square meters na lang. My church building. But they are worshiping God there. Sabi ko sa kanila, pwedeng kunin ng may-ari nito if wala nang nagwo-worship dito. Wala nang gumagamit, wala nang nagsisimba, pwede nilang kunin. So, a lot of things that they are doing, mga partners. A lot of things that they are doing. And what they have started at first, they still do until now. That's why the church still exists. Kaya mga partners, ito ang nangyari. God found the Lord Jesus Christ found their them this church with favor one is na mention dito you hate the practices of the nicolaitans which i also hate now ito mga partners ha? what god hates if we hate favor ni god ay nasa atin Oh, experience ng Ephesus Church of Ephesus sabi ng Panginoon but you have this in your favor you hate the practices of the Nicolaitans which also which I also hate now kung i-research mo tong Nicolaitans mga partners ah, like for example ito Nicolaisim, Nicolaisim was an early Christian sect mentioned twice in the book of Revelation of the New Testament. The adherents were called Nicolaitans, Nicolaitans or Nicolaites. They were considered heretical by the mainstream early Christian church. So hindi maganda ang kanilang Turo, these Nicolaitans. Kaya, the Lord Jesus Christ hates the Nicolaitans because of their uh, maling turo. Now, Nicolaitans group ito, uh, ang ano bang gawain ng Nicolaitans? Kung I-research pa natin. Sabi dito, uh, they were rebuked for eating things offered to idols. Ayun. And for fornication. So, ito yung mga bagay mga ginagawa ng Nicolaitans. They believe against, I mean, uh, anong tawag dito? Uh, may nawala ako, sandali lang ha. Uh, binabasa ko kasi sa internet yung, Who are the Nicolaitans today? Okay, ganito na lang. They were against the teaching of the Lord Jesus Christ. 
uh, they practice sexual immorality and abominations against God and are still practiced in many communities. Yun ang gawain ng Nicolaitans mga partners. Uh, extreme. Extreme yung ginagawa nila. Which the Lord Jesus Christ hates. Now, if the church hates the things that God hates, favor from God will be upon them. So, eto mga partners, may mga bagay na kalimutan nilang gawin, especially those things that they love to do at first. But may mga bagay din na nakita ng Panginoon, they continue to do. And they found favor in the eyes of the Lord Jesus Christ. Lalo na itong practices ng mga Nicolaitans. Hate talaga ng Panginoon ito. So if you want to know more about Nicolaitans mga partners, you can just, you can also do your personal research. Pero things what they are doing, the things that they are doing, the Nicolaitans, ayaw. Hate na hate ng Panginoon. So you see mga partners, what is this to us today as a church? Let them hear. He whoever has ears, let them hear what the Spirit says to the churches. Because to the one who is victorious, I will give the right to eat from the tree of life, which is in paradise of God. Yun ang verse 7, mga partners. Kumusta mga partners? Do we know why the church, our church exists? If Christ will evaluate, will write something about our church, ano kaya ang isusulat ng Panginoon para sa atin? Kaya si Pastor, he has to look after the needs and ministry of the church. Hindi natin hahayaan what makes the church exist and be found favor from God. Yun ang gagawin natin mga partners. Yun ang gagawin natin mga partners. And then, as we look at our church, ano yung mga bagay that they love to do at first, but they have forsaken it for a long time. Sabi ni Jesus Christ, repent and do the things that you did at first. Yung mga bagay na ginagawa niya nung una, continue to do it. You repent. Do it again. Something like that. I don't think the church have uh, stopped loving God, loving the Lord. I don't think this church have forsaken or stop at iniwan nila ang kanilang pagmamahal sa Lord. It's not like that, mga partners. In fact, they have found favor from God. But there are things that they love to do at first. They have forsaken. Di ba mga partners, in giving, in our offering. <laughs> Pag-usapan na lang natin ito, mga partners. Baka, nung una, no? nung una, no? 
when uh, yung fresh pa tayo nang nakilala natin si Lord on fire pa tayo sa ating giving sa ating prayer sa ating pag-study ng word uh, sa ating ministry talagang we love to do those things how about ngayon do we love to do still those things that we loved to do at first tanong lang yan mga partners so ang ganda nitong ano mga partners no yung as a church uh, the church can be found favor hmm, from God if the church hates what God hates especially the practices of the people any evil practices things that do not help the church things that do not build up the church things that do not edify the church the Lord hates it do not tolerate And do not accept that practices. And the favor of God will rest upon that church. Well, mga partners, I hope and pray that as we look at our church, we will persevere, endure in the name of the Lord, for the name of the Lord and to not grow weary for God will find us favorable because we do what God loves so individually mga partners I hope this will start in us that our ministry in the church will continue to grow with a loving people doing things that would bring glory and honor to our Lord Jesus Christ start in us mga partners Let us pray. Lord, thank you for reminding us today that you you are just there walking with us as a church, as an individual, as a temple of God. You are with us. And thank you, Lord, because it is you who holds every minister of your church it is you who inspire them it is you who blesses them no? it is you O oh lord who provide for them maraming salamat lord even for today may your people praise you May your people endure and persevere, endure hardship, and will not grow weary, but continue to do the things that they love to do, especially in the church, where your people praising and worshiping you. Thank you, Lord, for reminding us of these things. Bless everyone who is listening with their family in the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. Ayan mga partners, at dyan nagtatapos ang ating uh, devotional and reflection sa Church of Ephesus. 
Well, mga partners, good morning, good morning once again sa mga bago lang nakakonect. God bless you. Ayan, mga partners. Thank you for uh, your morning greetings, prayers, and for the partnership. Thank you muna kay Pastor Henny and Sister Aida Perpetua for sharing this program and others na hindi lang nag-appear sa ating alert box. Maraming salamat. Thank you for joining. God bless you. At titingnan muna natin ito mga partners kung uh, may mga pumasok pa na morning greetings, prayer ba habang ginagawa natin ang ating uh, meditation. Ayan. Si Sister Aida Perpet too. A good morning, Pastor, and everyone. Be blessed. God be glorified. Amen. Good morning, Sister Aida. God bless you too. Auntie, have a blessed Wednesday morning, everyone. Coming from Auntie Cindy Maura. Good morning, Auntie. God bless you. At regards, Jan Conostedes, si Uncle Mark, at sino pa man mga kasama nyo. Thank you for joining dito sa ating programa. Thank God for the partnership na mayroon tayo. Good morning. Also, si Sister Estela. Good morning, Pastor, everyone. Good morning din sa iyo, Sister Estela. Thank you for um, joining and uh, for that morning greetings. God bless you. Maraming salamat, uh, Pastora Henny. Amen and amen. Thank God for His word today. A very timely message and reminder for all of us. Praise God. Pastor Gil, the Lord bless you more as you continue to minister every day. Maraming salamat, Pastora Henny, claiming the declaration of God's blessings. Amen. Maraming salamat. God bless you. Auntie, thank you for, Auntie Mao, thank you for praying with us and for us. God bless everyone. May you find favor no? uh, from God today. God bless you. Alam ko si Lord has been blessing us in many ways. Maraming salamat, Panginoon. Kasama natin si, ano, kakapasok lang yung uh, sabi pa ni Sister Norelin, Amen. Thank you, so Word of God, today. Thank you, Pastor. God bless you. Welcome na, welcome kayo mga partners. Habang nandyan kayo, pagpatuloy natin tong programa natin. And I pray that God will continue to use this platform for the growth of our uh, spiritual life. No? Tulad ng sinabi ko noon na noon I was tempted to promote this by paying, no? By paying, no? Yung i-promote ito, i-market ito by paying. May idea tayo paano ng gawin 'yan. Pero no, sabi ng Panginoon, not hindi. Hindi ka dapat mag-spend diyan para hahakot ka ng maraming tao magjo-join sa program mo. Hindi tama yan. This program is for those na ililid ng Panginoon to join with us. Kasi hindi naman lahat ng mga tao uh, or gising by this time. <laughs> hindi naman lahat ng tao available for this time. So I, I am trusting the Lord. That anyone who come across with this live streaming, nagpapasalamat ako sa kanila. Kaya nga even those na dumadaan at nag-iiwan ng reaction, I'm blessed. I am blessed. Blessed na ako doon because I can declare blessings upon blessings for them. No? Blessings from God. Kahit dumaanan sila at nag-iwan ng reaction. Sent by God pa rin yun. So, walang imposible sa Panginoon. This is not uh, news for people to know. Uh, yung parang news, ano ba? A news program. This program is for everyone who come and join in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. I am praying that those who need to hear the word of the day, those uh, God will bring to join with us. Nagpapasalamat ako doon sa Panginoon. And for these individuals, tulad ninyo mga partners, 
nandyan kayo. And I know God is blessing you. Blessing us with heavenly and spiritual blessings. With every good and perfect gift that comes from above. Nandito tayo to declare blessings upon blessings for all of us and for our family. Kaya mga partners, if you have your prayer request, just type your prayer request at the comment section. Maraming salamat mga partners. At babasahin muna natin ang mga pangalan na dumaan at nag-iwan ng reactions. And as I read their names, we will declare God's blessings for them. With Heart's Reaction, Henny LM, Pink Judilia, God bless you, Mercy Kikuyama, Nora Navales, Aida Perpetua, Helen Subito, Jonathan Rojas, Eliza Espinosa, Noraline Espinosa, Norilin, and Arl Hardison. Also with Likes Reaction, Romeo Bayo. Well, mga partners, maraming maraming salamat for joining with us in our program Morning Prayer and Praise. This program is brought to you by Anjo Henekinan Ministry and on behalf of the leadership and members, we want to say thank you for praying with us and for us for the partnership na mayroon tayo. God bless you mga partners. Also on behalf of my family together with my wife, Pastora Ethel, and our son TJ. Maraming maraming salamat sa inyo. Thank God for the partnership na mayroon tayo. God bless you all. Please continue to cover us with your prayers, Pastor Gil and prayer partners, traveling mercies and favor. Magbiyahe mi karon to si Dio Ugma to coming in. Thank you Lord for I can pray and trust into your cares. Itang si Pastor Henny with the MS Larry as they travel to CDO and come again tomorrow. Praying for traveling mercies for them. And the joy will continue to ring in their hearts as they travel kasama nyo. Maraming salamat Lord for I can entrust these things into your cares. In Jesus' name, Amen. Well, mga partners, hanggang dito na lang muna tayo. God willing, getting connected with you tomorrow again. Dito sa ating programa, Morning Prayer and Praise. God bless us all. Sabi pa ni Sister Aida. Maraming maraming salamat mga partners. And we will trust the Lord that He will strengthen us and that He will empower us and be a blessing in the name of Jesus Christ. For the benediction, let us pray. Now the love of God and the grace that is in Christ Jesus and the communion of the Holy Spirit be with us all for the glory and honor of our God and Father, both now and forevermore. Amen. Well, mga partners, have a blessed Wednesday, everyone. Ito po ang inyong lingkod, Pastor Gilbert Bakabak, Kamako Missionary dito sa Japan. God bless you. God willing, getting connected with you again dito sa ating programa. Morning, prayer and pray. Streaming live, 7 to 8 a.m. dito sa Japan. God bless. Bye for now.